All right, we're working on the 73 charger again today. Trying to get some steering slop straightened out. Replacing the uh, rag joint, which is located inside this housing right there. And uh, I got to start by knocking that pin out right there. Step one, though, is uh, disconnect the battery. Right, Steve? Always disconnect the battery. Step two is knock out that pin, and then we got a bunch of good stuff inside to do. All right, there's that. Save it. All right, I had to disconnect my tack. Uh, you may not have that problem. And then there's this plate where these four bolts have to come off. And then there's the plate right here where these three have to come off. Uh, right there. First, you got to disconnect this, all these wires. Um, looks like they're all just plugged together. So we'll make sure to snap a good shot of how that goes in. The ground wire for the tack was on this post uh, right here, double nut, and then this other ground wire went over to the other post down here below the one with the white tab. All right, one of the harder things to do on this was get these uh, brittle connectors apart. They were uh, really old and really crumbly, and one of them's got a little burn mark on it there where it's bubbling up, but heating up a little bit. But I got it, and there's only two more. This uh, red one goes to black, and then another little connector there, and then this blue one goes, uh, this black ground obviously goes to that blue piece right there. All right, once you disconnect all these wires, you get this plate off the bottom finally. And then don't lose those little plastic tabs. You see? Yep. That thing right there. And I hope you noticed, you noted how those go on. Well, of course I didn't. <laughs> so now it's basically loose, and I think it'll probably come on out. All right, so uh, that seal, you got to get that separated without breaking it the best you can. And then you can kind of see where it came apart from the firewall right there. And uh, Steve's going to help push it through. I don't think I'll be able to tape it though. I didn't get to film it actually happening, but we got the whole steering column out. And uh, that's where our problem rag joint is in there. But also, I noticed the seal here is about shot. So, I might have a two parter. Stay tuned. So, uh, as you can see, the rag joint in there is like completely deteriorated. There's like nothing even left at the bottom part of this. Um, there's a little bit of something left up here but once you get down there it's gone looks like a rat got into that lined up it's squashed in between this this is actually its own independent piece mm -hmm. that sits right underneath this and then these uh, went through this way so this is how it went like that Yep, this bolt goes from here. So the heads of these bolts go towards the gearbox. And uh, all right, let's get the thing out of there. See what the hell we get. So this one has the independent. I wonder if I can. It looks like I can just push it out of there, but I really don't want to. Yeah, so these bolts were uh, what half inch on one end and large Phillips head on the other. And uh, that's one wore out rag joint right there, man. Thirty-eight. Browns are winning 38-7, ladies and gentlemen. And I always remember disconnect the battery. There you go. Wow. Yeah, you done got your 50 years and 20 bucks out of that. There you go. All right, that's a tore up rag joint right there, man. There, ain't, there wasn't much left of it. I'm
while we're waiting for the other uh, rag joint part to arrive decided to go ahead and get this uh, steering coupling rebuilt plunge joint and we're having a time getting this little pin out so we can pull this off the shaft so we'll see how we get to that so I had to cut it so there it is that's the business and this is what we got to replace because as you can tell this thing shot out a little bit what do you think, Steve? Shout out. Shout out. All right. The doorman part you need for this is the 425-253 steering shaft rebuild kit. Basically, what you'll probably need is the seal and maybe a new uh, cap for it. That's the old cap. That's the old seal until it's blown out. Um, these parts are probably fine. Uh, clean them up a little bit, put some new grease in there, and we're going to put this thing back on. All right, so it took some drilling, but basically got a new hole right here for the little safety pin thing. And now we can reassemble with the, uh, the new pieces here out of that kit, the doorman kit. All right, so step 16. Uh, this said to stretch over this pen and uh, be real careful because it is Hecto in China. And um, reusing this, this one because it already had the crimps on it. All right, I took this uh, opportunity to kind of soak these things in brake cleaner and Clean them up a little bit, degrease them, and uh, I'm going to reuse uh, everything I can, obviously, and probably paint up some of these uh, pieces, get them looking nice. All right, so I took this time to kind of clean up and prime the uh, key components that are going to really be visible. I think it'll look nice. All right, I got it kind of partially assembled here. I haven't tightened everything down yet. Ended up getting new Allen key bolts and locking nuts. Used two of the uh, Volkswagen Beetle steering flex disc. And uh, about ready to tighten it up. Put it back in the housing here. Uh, I believe it went like that. And then I'll pack this up with grease and join the two together. All right, so I've tightened everything back down, and that feels firm. That's going to be a lot better. I can tell already. It's going to look better, too. Okay, so you pack this thing about two-thirds of the way full of grease, and then put your little springs and shoes back on. Tap these uh, eight tabs back down. I use the same one because the, the new one didn't fit right. A lot of things in the new kit doesn't fit right or it has to be modified to fit. So if you use new stuff, just beware of that. And a lot of people say these red seals aren't as good as the black ones, but the black kit is uh, substantially more expensive. And uh, they had this kit at my local um, auto zone. All right, so now just got to put it back in, tap the uh, roll pin back in place once we get it back in, and then uh, wire everything back up. Okay, I put the steering wheel back through the firewall. Um, probably need some help holding it up uh, so you can get that right back on the spline, and then once it's on there, just tap the pin in again, and then good to go. Put everything back together inside here. All right, some of you may be asking why I couldn't just use the over-the-counter doorman part. Um, these holes were too close together, and it caused the screws to go in uh, at an angle, uh, the bolts, and it made it really hard to line up, um, and two of them would have really been tough so 
I just opted the, the ones for the beetle lined up perfectly, so I just used those instead. All right, hold the steering column up while you line up the holes and bolt this plate back on. Make sure everything is straight up top. I had a, a tack, so this screw was top dead center. Easy to see. Now Oreo can finally have his bed back. Right, Oreo? All right, so I got this... Uh, uh, back plate bolted in and the top plate um, got those bolts in not tightened up all the way I run my uh, green cord here for my tack through there just to kind of keep it concealed and uh, then I got to wire up the rest of this and then uh, tighten up that last uh, those last two nuts the ground and uh, almost be home free Okay, I got everything hooked back up. A couple of new connectors on the ground. All I gotta do now is hook the uh, tack back up. And uh, we'll be ready to take it for a test drive maybe tomorrow. All right, that definitely worked. Feels like a new car. Thanks for watching.